Hi everyone, Moon360, you're doing a special video, and that's right, I am unboxing the brand new Apple iPhone 6. It was announced earlier this month, but today it's finally available to the general public for purchase. And right now, unless you were the first ones to pre-order it, it might be a little tough to get your hands on one of these due to the overwhelming demand but you can always go to your local Apple store and see if they have spare units available, which is what I did. So thankfully, since the area in which I live in Connecticut is not that big, so I was able to secure a unit relatively quick. The one I have here is the contract-free model of the iPhone 6, which retails for $649, and of course, it's also available through nationwide carriers on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint for $199 with a two-year agreement. And I'm speaking in terms of US dollars, so a uh, pretty standard pricing scheme. And you can also get the six in three different color options, space gray, silver, and also gold. And I believe this one is the gold version, and we'll verify that claim when we open the box. And also, you can buy this in three different storage capacities, configurations, 16 gigs to start, and the, uh, the price will increase $100 when you go to uh, 32 gigs and all the way up to 128 gigs of storage which is pretty amazing so that's kind of a quick rundown of the pricing if you are looking into this so this is the packaging for the iPhone 6 kind of your typical Apple style box with the all white color scheme and uh, I was kind of surprised that, that there is not a photo of the phone on the front uh, here so that's pretty weird and also on the sides of the box we simply have the word iPhone written with the Apple logo I was kind of expecting it to specify that it's the iPhone 6 instead of just writing iPhone but I guess that's how they're doing it uh, this time so uh, but anyways on the back we have some brief information about the device which I'll talk about uh, as well and also uh, just some technical information about the phone located uh, towards the bottom of the box. So enough talking, let me first rip off this plastic wrap that's covering the box. Here we go. And now let me just separate the top from the bottom. And here we go. This is the Apple iPhone 6. Let's get this phone out. So this is the uh, iPhone 6. Uh, it's the gold version, uh, so I was right. And uh, feels nice in the hand and uh, very thin and light now. Uh, but I'll set this to the side for now take a look at what else we receive in the box so let's pull this tab and this is just the carton for the phone this is the information in the paperwork so we get uh, iPhone 6 quick start guide sort of iPhone info and also two Apple stickers and then we get the wall charger, USB wall charger, and the lightning USB cable, and the uh, lightning USB cable, and also the Apple earpods for your music needs. So that's really all we get inside the box. So now let's bring over the iPhone 6 itself. And first of all, it feels really good to hold and it feels extremely solid as well. It's made of mostly metal, of course, and the build quality is absolutely phenomenal. The front glass and back metal has this smooth texture that makes it comfortable to hold. The front glass, as you can see, folds slightly around the edges. So I guess the sharp, hard edges found on previous iPhones are gone. It also feels much thinner than before, so that's also really nice. But personally, I prefer the hard sharp edges found on the iPhone 5S, for example, because I liked how the hard edges provided me with a better grip of the phone so uh, I can have a sturdy hold of it. But I don't hate the new design on the 6, I just think the sharp edges were better, at least for me. The iPhone 6 is also much bigger now in terms of size, 
It now sports a 4.7 inch screen and increased from the 4 inch screen size we've seen for the last several years. And I think 4.7 inches is a great size for phones. It's kind of that middle ground, if you will, between 4.5 inches, which is on the smaller side, and 5 inches. Uh, that's on the bigger side, especially at 4.7 inches. Uh, it's very portable and also you can easily use it with just one hand. And it's also a decent size for content consumption like watching videos, for example. Whereas with 4.5 inches, it's portable, yes, but a little bit on the smaller side for enjoying videos, for example. And whereas with 5 inches, yes, it has a nice big display to watch all the videos you want, but you kind of sacrifice that portability. So 4.7 inches is a great form factor, and also the display is now referred to as a Rena HD display. It's got a resolution of 1334 by 750 with a pixel density at 326 pixels per inch, so not quite 1080p HD, uh, but it's still pretty good around the device. Starting with the left side, we have the ring silent switch, volume up and down keys, nothing up top, on the right, we have the on-off sleep and wake button, so uh, as well as the SIM card tray. At the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a microphone hole, lightning connector, and also the speakers. 1.2 megapixel FaceTime camera with 720p HD video recording, the ambient light sensor, and also the earpiece. Towards the bottom, we have the home button, which also doubles up as the touch ID sensor. 8 megapixel ISAID camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording capabilities at 30 or 60 frames per second. Something to mention is the new ISAID camera has this bulge, so it's kind of protruding outwards. But uh, next uh, to that, we have another microphone and the LED flash. So now let's go ahead and actually power on the device. There you go, it's powering up the Apple logo. Initial setup, so it's kind of taking a while, I guess. Hello, slide to setup. Choose English, United States. Choose my Wi Fi connection. So let me enter in my Wi Fi password. Hit join. may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Enable location services. I'll set up as new iPhone. I'll skip the step. I'll just enter in that later. Terms and conditions, accept, agree. Agree. Touch ID. Set up Touch ID later. Don't add passcode. I'll just uh, not add a passcode. I'll add it later. Continue. Just want to bring you guys to the home screen. Use Siri. Automatically send. Share with app developers. I'll do zoomed. Next, welcome to iPhone, get started. All right, so this is the home screen of the iPhone 6. As you can see, it's the latest version of iOS. It's iOS 8 pre-installed out of the box on the iPhone 6. Uh, really nice, and again, the screen is super, super sharp, and it's definitely looking like a great phone. So this is it for this unboxing video of the iPhone 6. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please remember to subscribe to this channel since over the next week or so, I will be doing all sorts of tests and demonstrations with the iPhone 6 and also a full in-depth review of the device as well. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button when those videos come out. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.